Boys Town. Sunday at 8 p.m. only on Turner Classic Movies. Robert Osborne. If you've been with us in primetime tonight, then you know that we have guest programmers all week. Each one a loyal viewer and fan of TCM. All of them are here in honor of TCM's 20th anniversary on April 14th. Well, joining me right now is another ultimate film fan of TCM. He's Steve Hayes from New York. Welcome, Steve. Oh, thank you, Robert. It's good to have you. Such an honor to be here. It's thank great. you. Steve's movie choice is a science fiction thriller from 1954. It's them. Exclamation point <laughs> with James Whitmore, Edmund Gwynn, and James Arness. Now, why this movie? Oh, because it was such a trailblazer for its time. You know, it was, uh, they put some money into it a couple of years before they had done The Thing, had been a big success that mm -hmm. Howard Hawks had had uh, his hand in. Right. And then, of course, The Day of the Earth stood still. And I think Warner's at that point said, well, they're making money. So they upped the budget. And they put in such an incredible cast of actors that absolutely play it as it's the most serious thing in the world. Mm -hmm. And because they take it so seriously, so do you. So you've got James Whitmore, who I always thought was sort of like Spencer Tracy. You'd always believe everything that came out of right. his mouth, you know, and he's so kind of calm and he's, well, we've got, you know, ants in the giant ants in the desert. Right. And, you know, and you they're go, okay. Eat, they're eating everybody. They're up, eating everyone. Yeah. And, you know, this is, it's a hard day. And, you know, and then they put, they put Edmund Gwynn in. Now, Edmund Gwynn is this doctor and he is so you know, you've believed him as Santa Claus, of course, right. and if you bought him as that, you'll buy him in anything. Right. And he takes it, they say at one point, uh, they say, well, doctor, if an ant could get this big, what can we expect? And he says, well, the earth as we know it will be gone by a year. You know, uh -huh. and you go, oh my gosh, and you absolutely right. buy it. Right. They, they, because they commit, so do you. Mm -hmm. And I think this was one of the first movies that had the action and terror taking place outside mm. in bright daylight. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, so instead of like the Val Luton, you know, right. sort of dark alleys, this was, these monsters were bright and they were right outside. And they put a lot of money into the monsters. Mm -hmm. They were they were great for the time, you know? I think it's so interesting about this is it was so dismissed back in the 1954, pretty much. I mean, the only ones that went to see it were people who liked B pictures back then. Yeah. They were cheaply done and not too, too uh, important. But through the years, it's really been rediscovered, and people think of it now as a very important film. Oh, definitely. Yeah. And people were very influenced by it. Um, if you watch uh, Cameron's Aliens, there's, mm -hmm. you know, they have very similar things yeah, in that movie. Yeah, but this is years later. Years later. Yeah, that you is know, a... people kept looking at them. You know, it's sort of like, it, it was sort of like a map for other movies right. later on. And it had a sort of a documentary feel, and everything was atomic. You know, what are they doing in the desert? What kind of experiments are happening in the desert? And these giant ants grow because of an atomic bomb in the desert, right. you know? And so it's sort of, you know, at that time, you know, even like Twilight Zone, everything was about the A-bomb, and you know, there's not enough right. room in the shelter, and you know, and all those right. kind of things. So it has that 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 right. uh, Cold War feel yeah, to it, you know? absolutely. And James Arness, of course, had played The Thing two years right, before, so right. I think he probably went to Gunsmoke, because either you're fighting off Miss Kitty than yes. a couple of giant ants. <laughs> <laughs> Almost as easy. Almost as yes. easy. Yes, <laughs> but let's see the film. You set it up very well. Here, directed by Gordon Douglas and an Oscar nominee for Best Special Effects. Here's Them. Thank you. 